YouTube family, how you doing? This is Marks for Marks for Marks. I appreciate you taking this time and spending with me and sharing it with me. You could be any place else, but you decided to be with me. Here's something that I, this is for my students. These are for my, my college students, my, uh, my students in high school, elementary, anybody that might be watching it, watching this at this time. One thing that I've noticed that seems to, I guess, acts as, it, it perturbs me a little bit. It makes me a little um, angst or, you know, concerned with the generations of kids that I see now. And I don't want to sound like the, the old guy, like the granddad or something like that. But here, here here's the thing. It... It's a cool thing, like you know, like so. If, I don't know what word young people use now to equate with being cool uh, or having swag or being fly or you know. So young people, you got to help me with that. Is it is it is it being is it called being cool? Is it called having swag? Is it called I don't know uh, being fly? I don't know. But for me, here's the thing. It is a if it, it's a cool thing or it's a fly thing or I look at somebody that has swag when they are using their intelligence. I think that there's a perception out there, and you know, I don't really know where the perception comes from. And, and, and young people, you'll have to help me with this. It there's a perception out there that says that it's a cool thing not to be educated. It's a, it like, like if you're a smart kid or if you have intelligence, then people will call you a nerd or call you lame or it's, it's as if it's a negative thing to be smart. Um, and I guess that happens a lot in high school and in, in the middle school level. Why, why I see kids being picked on um, for having um, or articulating themselves or getting good grades or they'll say, well, you kissing up to the teacher or you being a suck up. I don't, you know, I don't understand that. See, because here, here's where it becomes an oxymoron, right? Or something that's contradictory. Um, where you say, hey, you, you'll tell me in school, listen, I want to be successful. I want to have money. I want to have a nice car. I, I have not met anybody, any student or any person to date that said, you know what? When I go, when I grow up, I want to be the dude that's 40 years old, living in my mama basement, watching uh, music, videos on, music videos on YouTube all day, in my drawers, no job, putting my name on the orange juice. I have not met anybody to date that said that's their goal. Now, there are some people that live like that. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging you. If that's the lifestyle you want to live, that's your prerogative. I get it. But I'm just saying, all the young people I talk to, when I talk to you, you say, I want to I wanna go to college. I, I, I want to do something in sports. I want to be successful. Um, I, I want to have a nice car. I want to have money. I want to... You know, so the thing that makes me concerned is that, so in one instance, you say you want to be successful. On the other instance, then you say that you'll pick on somebody who's not successful. Or you'll pick on somebody who is having a, me a measure of success in school. You'll call them a nerd or you call them goody two shoes or, you, you, you know, you, you kind of pick on them for, for those things. Um, and I don't understand that. Let me tell you this, young people. If you want to be successful, and this is this is this is real talk, right? If you want to be successful, you're gonna to have to grind and work hard at whatever it is that you do. And right now, for the most part, for most of you, I would say like 99% of my students. Your full-time job is to be a student. So if that's your full-time job, then what you want to do is be the best at that full-time job. You want to make sure that you are competing and being, and being successful. 
And that doesn't make you lame or soft or a sucker or any of that stuff. That makes you somebody who's serious about their business. It, it, to, to, to lose or to be unsuccessful or to be, you know, the kid who uh, is getting the 50s in class or getting the Fs, anybody can do that. It, it takes no energy to fail. It, it takes no effort not to be successful. It really does. I mean, how hard is it to not be successful? Like, how hard is it to lose that something? I mean, if that was your intent, if your if your intent was, okay, I want to lose at this, how hard would that be? It wouldn't be hard at all. I mean, you just don't do nothing. Um, to be successful, to get all A's, to hit the honor roll, to hit the bear roll, to hit the dean's list, that takes effort and that takes energy. And what I've learned in being in school for so long, now, I have been in school for a very long time uh, with two master's degrees and now working on a, on a doctorate degree. I mean, I... I spent a lot of time in school. What I've learned thus far in education is not so much about how smart you are. It's not about so much how smart you are. It's about how much heart you have. How much energy and effort are you going to give to your craft? Don't, you know, don't believe the hype. You know, this, this, this thought process to say, you know, oh, I'm going to be successful. And I'm gonna have a whole bunch of money and I'm gonna be all have all this fly stuff and I'm not gonna get an education. Statistically, people who don't have an education, um, or don't when we talk education, I'm just talking about a high school diploma at this point. People who don't have high school diplomas uh are at a higher percentage of going to jail, have a higher percentage of uh health issues, have a higher percentage of not getting employment. Uh, have a higher percentage of uh, dying before dying at a young age. So what I'm telling you young people, it is cool. It is fly to be smart. It is a cool thing when you can walk up to somebody and they say, how are your grades? And you say, well, I got 95s and, and, and 90s or A's and A minuses. You know, that's just how I roll. That is a cool thing to do because if you translate your world, which some people might say school is a microcosm of the real world, meaning it's a small version of the real world. If you translated that into the real world, right? And you were that guy who they said, how you living? Well, you know, I just, you know. It, it, so if an A meant, uh, if you equated A to how you live financially, and that person says, well, you know, I know what I'm saying, I just... If an A meant like houses and cars and money, and somebody says, well, how you living? You say, well, I'm doing good. You know what I'm saying? I just bought me a, you know, a Lambo. You know what I'm saying? I just picked up a, a Bentley. Uh, you know, I just got me a new house, right? You'd be like, oh, man, that's awesome. So, but if, if that's money, right? But the same thing in school, right? If you talk to a person, when I talk to you and I ask you how your grades are, and you say, yeah, I don't know. Or you say, well, you know, they're all right. Or you say, they're all right. <laughs> What's, what does that mean? You know, a you know, teacher don't like me. You know, they always talking junk about me. They give me favoritism. Okay, so what kind of grades you got? Well, I don't know. And then I go to my computer, look at your grades, and I see 50s, 55s, 58s, 60s, all right? But you're that dude in school, or you're that girl in school, and everybody knows you, and you're popular. That's not cool. What's cool in the sight of colleges, was cool to the sight of teachers, was cool to the sight of administrators, and on the low, you just don't know it, was cool to the, to the sight of your friends and your peers, is not you just being in the hallway or you can tell all the jokes in the class, or you be the class clown. That's okay for a little while. But what's really cool is you pass that test with a hundred. You pass that exam uh, with a 90. Or you can actually help other people uh, get their work done. Now, when you do that, that's cool. Because if you take that same work ethic, 
and that same energy into the real world and it translate like that, then you're going to be that person for real. Now, am I telling you that I always got all 90s and 95s in high school and that's what has given me a measure of success right now? No, I'm not saying that. I would be lying to you. But, you know, I did maintain a, at least a, a B average in, in high school. Uh, took a dip in college. I told you my story. Um, but then when I really started to put my focus on my academics, it, I never looked look back because I put the energy and effort to it. So, young people, um, what you want to do is you want to be cool. And being cool and having swag and being successful and, and, and having swag is being successful. And being successful in your full-time job right now. You put in a lot of hours in school to be successful in your full-time job is to get those 90s, to get those 95s, is to get those A's, is to get those B's, is to be on that Dean's list, to be on that Mero list. That's what's being, that is what it means to be cool. So, um, if you're not doing it right now, the school you just started, you need to do that. You need to hit those books and study. You need to make sure that you're going to be the, the, the most swagged out kid in the school, not because you're doing this, but because you're in those books and you're hitting the books hard and then you're telling your friends, look, I just got a 90 on this exam. Man, I killed it. I just got a 95. I just got a 100. Let me help you study. Let me, let me bring my whole crew up. So that's today's Omar's Remarks. Young people, if you enjoyed it, if you're one of those students that get 90s, 95s, and, and you swagged out, let me hear about it. Uh, put it in the comments. Uh, hit like, hit share. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Until next time, young people, peace.